Hello kids and welcome to another science video. Today's lesson is how do scientists think? The vocabulary words for this lesson are investigate, hypothesis, draw conclusions and communicate. To investigate is to plan and do a test to answer a question or solve a problem. A hypothesis is a statement that you can test. To draw conclusions is to use information that is gathered during an investigation to see if the results support the hypothesis. To communicate is to write, draw, or speak to show what you have learned. Nowadays, we use light bulbs instead of candles. We get to use them because of Benjamin Franklin. He told the world about his investigations. Scientists investigate to learn more about the world around us. When they conduct an investigation, they follow certain steps. The first thing to do is to observe and ask questions about what you want to investigate. Scientists use what they already know to make a hypothesis. After making a hypothesis, the scientist makes a plan to test it. Then the scientist does the test. After that, the scientist draws a conclusion. This means that the scientist uses the information gathered during the test to see if the results support the hypothesis. Last but not least, Scientists communicate their results with other people. John and Kate are about to carry out an investigation with their friends from school. John and Kate love orange juice so much they want to find out how to grow oranges themselves. This is Leon. He's helping John and the other children with the experiment. He's thinking about how you can grow an orange tree from a seed. He knows that orange trees grow in a garden near their school. So he makes a hypothesis and shares it with the group. Orange seeds planted in their schoolyard will grow. John's friend Lucas often helps his mom in their garden. He says that trees usually grow in soil and get water from the rain. So the children make a plan to put the seed in soil and water it. Just like we grow, the seed grew into a tree. Like the trees in the garden, this orange tree was able to grow because it got everything it needed. When doing tests, scientists don't always get the same results. But when their results do repeat, they know their conclusions are supported by their results. Repeating an experiment to see if similar results are achieved is an important way of testing hypotheses. Scientists use the same materials and follow the same procedures because they want to see if they get similar results. Today, scientists have many ways to communicate. 
Writing our results down in our journals is a start, but we can also write about our results on the internet or talk about them on the phone and even show our results using web cameras. Before we finish, let's take a quick look at the main points we covered. A scientist plans an investigation based on observations. A scientist makes a hypothesis, plans a fair test and gathers data. Scientists communicate their results. Scientists repeat experiments to see if similar results are achieved. Thank you for attending our session. I'll see you next class. Goodbye.